Good morning, our kids. Welcome to the last day of ranger camp. Day it flew by quite literally. We're already here. Crazy. I uh, hope you guys had fun the first three days. We had so much fun. I know so going to the day. beach, all this stuff. First day, space day, beach day, wilderness day. And now we're in our final day of camp, which is Santa Barbara Galita Day. We're learning about where we live. The place we go, the hikes we go on, the beach we live at, it's, you know, this is where God has us. So we're gonna learn about it, have okay. so much fun. We have a really awesome scavenger hunt planned for you guys what? today. As you'll see in our video, we're gonna send you guys out with some clues on a map and you guys can drive around and go find our Ooh. ranger stickers on the, in our secret locations. So that's Ooh. gonna be awesome. And um, Rhett, what's our story for today? Our story today is about the sower and the seeds. So we learned in the Bible that, in this parable, that the sower, he spreads the seeds and the seed is the word of the Lord. And when God's word is sown, it doesn't return void, meaning God's word always produces a crop. It always results in something. So today we're gonna to learn about the results that God's word brings. And our verse for today is Mark 4.20, and it is that same passage, that same idea about the sower sowing seeds. So it is going to be a good one today, guys. Awesome, and if, if you guys um, can make it today, we have a concert with Ranger Rhett here at Whoa. our HQ field Crazy. at 6595 Covington Way. And we will also have a special lunch ready for you guys when you get here. We cannot wait to see your faces. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. So Rhett, can you pray us in? And then we'll talk about I the I would crafts. love to. Fold our hands and let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for an awesome camp, Jesus. Man, we've had so much fun learning about your creation, Jesus, and we're already on the last day. And it's sad, Lord, that it's over, but we are excited to spend the last day learning about your creation, Jesus. So be with us today as we go out in Santa Barbara and Goleta, Lord. Keep us safe as we're driving around, doing our scavenger hunt. And uh, thank you for loving us so much, Jesus. We love you too, and we pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. So today in our craft bags, we got some fun goodies for you. We've got some Play-Doh Play um, nature imprints. So maybe even this, the goodies you found yesterday in your scavenger hunt bags, or you can go outside and grab some leaves or whatever you find, and Leaf. you stick them into your Play-Doh to make up the little imprint. You can see the unique design that God made Whoa. for each piece of nature, carefully thought of by God. And then also some leaf rubbing. You can take the paper that's in your craft bag and put a leaf behind it and rub with a crayon on it and you can see the cool imprint again and then also a popsicle stick frame which you can Ooh. stick a picture of you guys in nature or if you guys want to dress up like um ranger right here and snap a picture and stick it in your frame to remember a fun week at camp so thanks and we hope you guys can join us today for our ranger Rhett concert at anthem hq so fun Have we'll fun, see guys. you guys there stories of the bible the parable of the farmer. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, <laughs> and even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, Jesus went and sat beside the sea. A great crowd gathered around him. Oh, hey, everyone. So he got in a boat and told them many things in parables. Okay, listen to this. He told them this story. A farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil among rocks. The seed began to grow quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plant soon wilted under the hot sun, and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil, 
this seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. When Jesus had said this, he called out, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Yeah. Later, the disciples came to Jesus and asked what this parable meant. Jesus said, The farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message, only to have Satan come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are treated badly for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life and the desire for other things. And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. What a cool story we got today, guys. So yesterday we learned about a metaphor that Jesus gave for us, why we shouldn't be worried, right? Jesus talked about the birds and the flowers, right? And said, man, those things don't worry, so neither should you worry because God's going to provide for you. And today we're learning about another type of story that Jesus told us called a parable. Now, a parable was a story or a picture of something from everyday life that people understood and Jesus used it to explain a spiritual meaning uh, that he wanted to tell his followers, right? So today we learned about a classic, is the parable of the sower and the seeds, right? So in this parable, there's a sower, right? And a sower is someone who puts seeds in the ground. And he says he spreads it on four types of surfaces, right? One of them, he spreads it on the road, on the wayside, right? One of them, he spreads it in rocky places. One of them, he spreads it in thorny places. And one of them, he spreads it on good, fertile soil. So the sower represents Jesus, right? Jesus came down from heaven and sent us the word, right? His Bible, which is the seed, right? So the sower represents Jesus. The seeds represent God's word, God's message of hope to us, right? And Jesus spreads it on different surfaces and the different types of ground are the different types of people in the world, right? So you are one of these four types of soils, right? The first soil is the soil on the road, right? So Jesus says he spreads the seed on the road, but he says that the road is like people who hear the word, but they don't understand it and they don't care about it, right? So say it's like someone who goes to church, hears the word, and then leaves and just says, ah, who cares, you know, I don't, I don't really get it, so I don't care. And he says that is like the seed that is planted and snatched up by the devil, right? He says that God plants the word, that we hear the word, but the devil comes and snatches it away from us so that they can't understand, right? The second type of soil was the rocky places, right? So this soil is a person that they spread, the, they hear the word of the Lord, right? The seed is spread on their heart and they receive it with joy, right? So it's like, it falls, so just imagine we're like a little rock, right? Okay. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pick up a rock for you guys but say there's just a little bit of soil this much soil on a top of a big rock right so the seed falls on the soil and boom it sprouts up right a little plant quickly and it's like oh yeah this is awesome but what happens after a little bit right the wind comes starts blowing the rain comes starts hitting down and the seed has no root right so if you look at a tree this tree, I hope you can see it behind me. You can definitely see a tree behind me. Trees are strong, they're firm because they have deep roots, right? The roots go way down into the ground. They're holding firm to the earth, right? And that's why they're so strong. And he uses this alliter uh, alliteration, this metaphor like this. He says, a person who receives the word with joy 
But the moment something hard comes by, the wind, the waves, the rain, the seed gets swept away, right? There's no root to it. And that's not what Jesus wants. He doesn't want Christians just to be people who hear it and say, oh yeah, I'm a Christian, it's good times. But the moment hard times comes, they leave. They trust in themselves. They don't trust in Jesus. That's like someone with no root. The third type of soil is like so seeds spread among thorns, right? So the seeds fall into the ground. They start growing. But then the thorns choke the seeds and they can't live and the seeds die, right? And Jesus says, that's like someone who hears the word, who hears my word, receives it, says, okay, yeah, I want to be a Christian, but then the cares of the world choke out the seed, right? So it's like someone who says, okay, I want to be a Christian, but I first think I need to go to school. That's more important. Or firstly, I need to go get married. Or firstly, I need to get a good job. Or firstly, you can say any amount of things. He says, people who think other things are more important than their relationship with me are like people who receive the word and it's choked out, right? Like seeds sown among thorns. And the thorns choke the seed, right? And Jesus says, if anything is more important than me to someone, man, they're getting choked, right? Their faith isn't real. They're getting choked out. But the fourth type of soil is the good soil, right? It's good, you know, I don't, this isn't really good soil, but you guys have all seen like a farm, right? How they till up all the dirt so it's nice dirt and they put seeds in the ground and it grows, right? That is the good soil. And Jesus says, that's what my followers are. He says, it's like people who hear the word and they plant the seed and they produce a crop, right? So say you like put corn seeds in the ground, the corn grows up and it makes corn, right? You get more corn and you can plant those and you make more corn. It produces a crop. You can get things from it. And that's what Jesus says his followers are. He says, my followers are people who hear my word and make more disciples. They plant more seeds after that. That's what the good, my followers are like. So that is a parable of the four types of soil and the sower, guys. Awesome story. We want to be like the good soil, right? That produces more crops. So today, guys, SB Galuta Day, local day. We're going to learn about the awesome place God has put us, right? And our verse today is Mark 4.20, and it talks about the good soil. It says, but on the good soil, the seed was planted, and it produced a crop 10 and 100 fold, right? In our community, we want to plant the seed of Jesus Christ, not only so that one person can become a Christian, but so it can produce a crop. More and more and more people become Christians in our community. That is what we're learning about today, guys. Okay, guys, this one is called Mighty to Save. The chorus goes, Savior, put your hands out, because Jesus saved us on the cross. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save, mighty to save forever. Just do your hands like forever and ever. Author of salvation, like you're writing, he rose and conquered the grave, conquered the grave. And then the bridge is going to go, shine your light. Sorry, I'm holding my pick. Shine your light. Do it like you're throwing glitter or something. Shine your light in. Let the whole world see. We're singing for the glory. Go like this glory of the risen king. And then put a little crown on your head. Okay. So this one is mighty to save. Everyone needs compassion. Everyone needs compassion of all that's never failing. Then mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, kindness of a savior. The hope of the nation. Sing, Savior, he can move the mountain.
you go, guys. Can't hear her yet. Ah, uh, there we go. Here we go. Get really in open heaven you're releasing and we will never be denied here we go we're stirring up because we're stirring up deep deep wells we're stirring up deep deep water we're gonna dance in the
Okay, boys and girls, here we go. We are almost to Farron right now. Uh, just driving along. Whoa, guys, I almost crashed without my glasses. That was crazy. Always wear glasses if you need glasses. That's a good idea. Uh, a little less sun. Like a biker. Anyways, guys, we're almost there. We just gotta turn it around right here. And uh, yeah, keep going. Here we are. Fix the camera a little bit. So, yeah, life is great, isn't it? Whoa, wait, wait, everyone, everyone, look at this. Look at this. Do you see who it is? Is that, is that Tempoy Taylor? Tempoy Taylor, is that you? Is that, is that Ranger Rhett? Yeah, it is. Oh my goodness. What are you doing out here? I'm hitchhiking. Trying to get up to Farron Road. Farron, that's where we're going. You're going to Farron Road? Hop in the car, let's go together. Okay. What a great find, everyone. Welcome, Tempoy. Thanks, Rangerette. Okay, let's keep going, everyone. Wait. Wait, what? We're looking for sticker? What? Why are we looking for stickers again? Well, today is the local day of Ranger Camp. Oh. So I we see. are finding stickers at near places where we live. So we already found a sticker. At Galita Beach. Okay. We already found a sticker at Lake Los Caneros. Uh -huh. And that was our next sticker on Farron Road. So we are just going around Galita in the place we live, in the place God put us, and seeing all the cool things that we live by. That's very cool. Yep. All right, everybody. So the first clue was the tree next to the lake. So we're here at Lake Los Caneros right now. I figured that's a lake and there's trees here. So let's go look for that sticker. Well guys, here we are at the lake. There's ducks, there's turtles, and all sorts of stuff. But you know what, I have not seen a sticker. No sticker. So I guess we'll just have to, uh, I guess we'll just have to leave and Go look for it somewhere else. What do you guys think? What? You think the sticker is here? Do you see it somewhere? I mean, I don't, I don't see it anywhere. I just see... Where is it? On the ground? No? Where... Where... Where, where is it? On this thing? Whoa, you're right! It's the first sticker. Adventure Ranger Camp. Yep, that's our sticker. There's a ranger on it. Well, the map led us to one sticker. Maybe we can go find the rest of the four stickers somewhere else. So, let's go. Okay, here we are, guys. The next one on the map was a park. So we came to the park in the middle of Galita, Gersh Park. So uh, let's go look for that sticker. We have to check every leaf, kids. Nope. 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 Wait. Nope. Do you see it? No, not in the flowers. No. Somewhere else, maybe. <laughs> not there, guys. So, in in the struggle, kids, to get out here at the park, I actually lost Rangerette. I'm kind of looking for him. I have his camera. 
Wait, I think I hear him. What is that? There's Rangerette. Let me let me flip the camera. What are you doing, Rangerette? Oh, uh, I just thought if I got higher up, I could see more and maybe find a sticker. Uh huh. Uh, uh, Do you see it, kids? Uh, I don't see it. Huh. I can't see it from up here. Wait. Do you I guys, think... do you, kids, do you see it somewhere? Uh, you do? Uh, what? There it is! The sticker is right there. The whole time. Uh, wow. What a sneaky spot. spot. For the sticker. That was crazy. Uh, well, we found four stickers now, kids. We only have one sticker left to find. Great work. Let's go find the next one. <laughs> Do you need some help? Uh, uh, no. Uh, Okay guys, we just found the last sticker at Gersh Park. So yeah. now we only have one more sticker to find, Ten Boy. Yeah. What was what was on the map for this next clue? I don't know, let's ask them. A church? Hmm, hmm. a church? Where did we used to have church? Let's see. Galita Valley Junior High. That's right. We used to have church at Galita Valley. Let's drive over there now. And see if we can find that sticker. Okay, here we are at Goleta Valley Junior High. We're gonna oh. go look everywhere. Everywhere, we have to check every bench, every pole to make sure that we don't miss this sticker. Yeah. We'll check in periodically to see if we find it. Is it under the benches? Nope, not under the benches. Well, guys, we looked everywhere at Goleta Valley, and we couldn't find it anywhere. Yeah, we looked so many places. And then we got to thinking, that's not the only place that we've had church before. We also have had it at Anthem HQ. So we're heading over there right now, and we're going to see if we can find it. Hopefully we'll find the last sticker there. Okay, guys, let's go inside. Whoa, hello everyone. It's Ranger Red. Hi. Do you guys, we're looking for a sticker. Do you guys know where a sticker is? Fresh out, bro. No, haven't seen one. I haven't seen one anywhere, man. Oh, Good no. Good luck on your quest. Oh, thank you. The last clue was at church, so we're looking around at church. Okay, uh, well, get out your magnifying glass. Okay, we will do. Both stickers hang out where it's sticky. Oh. I don't know. Like in a tree or a forest? Who know. knows? We'll go check. Thanks, guys. <laughs> We're here. Okay, guys. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Tempo. I cut you off a little bit right there. We're just at Anthem HQ today, everybody. We're going to start looking around at the trees everywhere and see if we can find this letter. Let's go for it. Hey, guys. Do you guys know where the sticker is? No! You haven't seen it? No, I You have no idea where it could be. <laughs> I don't think so. We'll keep looking. You know what, guys? We have looked everywhere for this last sticker. Can't find it. Yeah. It wasn't at Goleta Valley Church. It wasn't at Anthem HQ Church. We don't know where else it could be. I mean, the map had a church on it. I mean, what is church? How could we have not... How could... Did you guys see it somewhere? You do? Do you see it somewhere right now, maybe? Where, on, on who? No, I don't see no. it. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. On Ranger Rhett, maybe? No, I mean, no. Wait! Wait! The sticker's on me? What? Why is the sticker... Why would the sticker be on me? Wait. We are the church. What? He's right, guys. The Bible says 
The church isn't a building, is it? No. Church isn't a, a place we meet or, it's not a field. or somewhere we go. It's not a tent. Are you sure it's not a tent, tent boy? Pretty sure. Okay. Church is us. We are the church, aren't we? God says that we are his body and Jesus is the head of the church. That's amazing. Well, everyone, I guess if you want to find all five stickers, you're just going to have to come to the Ranger concert later today. We'll see you there. Are you going to be there, Tent Boy? I will, along with Dolphin Dan and some more of our friends. Wow. So, guys, if you want to get your last sticker, don't forget you got to come to Ranger concert tonight. The or Ranger this morning, concert. I guess. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock is when it's happening. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, how, sounds good to me. Sounds good to you? Sounds good to me. Okay, cool. We'll see you guys there. Thanks so much for joining us, our kids, for Adventure Ranger Camp this week. We've loved hanging out with you and seeing you every day at HQ for your fun surprises. So fun. Guys, thank you for joining us again. We learned so much this week about God's creation. God loves us so much that he created this awesome world for us to enjoy and to display his glory. It's so awesome. Do you guys have fun too? So yeah. much fun. Yes! So much fun. You know what guys, the perfect way to end this is we're gonna pray. So let's put our hands together, eyes closed, mouths closed, and we'll pray. Thank you Jesus for an amazing world that you created, Lord. Uh, we look around at the trees and the ocean and all these things where we just realize, man, our God is great. He loves us so much, Jesus. And uh, I just think back to the very first day's verse, Lord, in Psalms, that the heavens declare your handiwork, the skies proclaim your glory, Jesus. And it does, Lord. We just realize your glory is just shown through your creation, Lord. So as we go out and end this camp, Lord, help us to continue to remember that, Lord, that as we see the mountains and the the ocean and all these things in this awesome place we live, Lord, we realize, man, our God loves us and he is great. So we love you, Jesus. Thank you so much for blessing us so much. And uh, we pray this in your name. Amen. 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 Bye, guys. Awesome. See you guys. Bye-bye.